Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss a topic under advanced graphic design. Index includes object drawing, natural geometric forms with emphasis on depth and dimension, sunlight and shadow, detail and texture, and types of lines. Object drawing. What is object drawing? Object drawing is drawing from life. It can be done only through mental process. It can be done with pen or pencil using various techniques. And there are certain steps for object drawing, which includes copying an image from grid line, copying upside down image, blind counter drawing, gesture drawing, breaking image into shapes, drawing using negative space and proportion through measurement. Now comes foreshortening and vanishing point. What is foreshortening? Foreshortening is distortion due to perspective. An object appears compressed when we see from a particular viewpoint that is foreshortening. And in the above given image, the hand of the picture appears to be bigger on one side while the other hand appears to be compressed that is foreshortening. Vanishing point. Vanishing point is the point where the parallel lines seem to meet. In the below picture, you can see the example of vanishing point that is road and also railway track we can see vanishing point. Forms and shapes. Forms and shapes are the regular shapes such as squares, rectangles, circles, cubes and other regular forms. They can be thought of positive or negative in a 2D composition. The object is considered to be the positive form while the background is the negative space. And effective use of negative space is very important for a good composition. Here is an example of effective use of negative space. This is Noten and it is an ancient symbol of dual forces held in unity. Now comes dimensioning. Every drawing, whether a scale drawing or freehand drawing, must provide its length, breadth, height, size, etc. And providing these informations on drawing is called dimension. Types of dimensions. There are two types of dimensions that is size or functional dimension and location or datum dimension. Now let's see the placing of dimensions. Placing of dimensions involves two systems that is aligned system and unidirectional system. In the aligned system, the dimension is placed perpendicular to the dimensional line in such a way that it may be read from the bottom edge or the right hand edge of the line sheet. The dimensions should be placed near the middle and above but clear of the dimensional lines. In unidirectional dimension system, all directions are placed in a way that they can be read from the bottom edge of the drawing sheet. The dimensional lines are broken near the middle for inserting the dimensions. And this system is mainly used on large drawings, example aircraft, etc. Unit of dimensions. There are certain unit of dimensions and they are as follows. All dimensions should be given in millimeter. The height of the dimension figures should be from 3 mm to 5 mm. A zero must always precede the decimal point when the dimension is less than unity. Dimensioning terms and notations. There are certain dimension terms and notations like dimension line, extension line, arrowhead and linear. Dimension line is a thin continuous line. It is terminated by arrowheads touching the outlines. Extension line is also a thin continuous line drawn in extension of an outline. Arrowhead. Arrowhead is placed at each end of a dimension line. The length of the arrowhead should be about three times its maximum width. And the size of an arrowhead should be proportional to the thickness of the outline. Leader. Leader or pointer is a thin continuous line connecting a note or a dimension with the features to which it applies. General rules. There are certain rules for dimensioning and they are as follows. Dimensioning should be done so completely that further calculations or assumptions or direct measurements from the drawing is not necessary. Every dimension must be given but none should be given more than once. Dimensions should be placed outside the views unless they are clearer and more easily read inside. Mutual crossing of dimension lines and dimensioning between hidden lines should be avoided.
sunlight and shadow here in sunlight and shadow a light projected onto an object or figure creates light dark and cast shadows the source of light may be the sun the moon or light through window or artificial light when several light sources are present the light and dark tones vary and are less predictable shadow is of two types that is cast shadow and form shadow when an object blocks light source it cast a shadow a cast shadow is not a solid shape but varies in tone and value a form shadow is less defined dark side on an object not facing the light source a form shadow has softer less defined edges than a cast shadow light side and dark side on round or circular surfaces when one light source is present the dark side is always darker than the light side of the object and the light side is always lighter than the dark side the light side is divided into two parts that is highlight and light middle tones highlight highlight is the lightest spot or streak where the light strikes the subject in exactly the middle of the light side between the shadow edge and the edge of the object and highlight is shiny and crisp on glass or metallic surfaces now comes dark side dark side can also be called as shadow edge or core shadow the edge where the light is blocked from the light is the dark side reflected light it occurs when light bounces off an object if the surface is smooth and shiny like glass water or polished metal the light will reflect the same angle as it hits the surface cast shadow description umbra penumbra and antumbra are the names given to the description of shadows cast by heavenly bodies umbra is the darkest part of a shadow considered the absence of light the penumbra is a lighter out shadow where the object is only partially obscuring the light the antumbra is more obscure when it is visible it seems to extend here is an example of cast shadow of a cube how a cube cast a shadow when light falls on it from different angles now comes detail and texture detail and texture may include dimensions detailing symbols and many other on the left is an example of alex evans who is an artist based in london who makes complex and detailed drawings of cities geometries and structures found in nature now let's see the types of lines there are various types of lines now let's begin with outline outline is the line drawn to represent visible edges and surface boundaries of an object margin line is continuous thick or wide line along which prints are trimmed dimension line are continuous thin lines and are terminated at outer end by pointed arrow heads extension or projection line are also continuous thin lines they extend by about 3 mm beyond dimension lines construction lines are drawn for constructing figures they are shown in geometrical drawings only hatching or section lines are drawn to make section in evident they are continuous thin and are drawn at an angle of 45 degree leader or pointer line is drawn to connect a note with a feature to which it applies it is continuous and thick border line it perfectly rectangular working space is determined by drawing the border lines they are continuous thin lines short break lines are continuous thin and wavy they are drawn free hand and are used to show a short break long break lines are thin ruled lines with short zigzag within them they are drawn to show long breaks hidden or dotted lines interior or hidden edges and surfaces are shown by hidden lines they are also called dotted lines they are of medium thickness and of small dashes 
Crescent lines, they indicate the axis of cylindrical, conical or spherical objects or details. They are thin, long chain lines. Cutting plane lines. The location of a cutting plane is shown by this line. It is long, thin, chain line, thick at the ends only. They are used to indicate special treatment on the surface. Chain thick double dot. This is a chain thin double dot line. Thank you for watching. Please give a thumbs up if you like my video and for more interesting topics subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell icon to get notified about more academic and interior design videos and if you have any suggestion or queries do comment below.